Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can quickly and easily create materials with surface imperfections that will add a level of realism to the same materials that you would want to have in your games. To do that, we will simply edit a neutral material that I'll create from scratch and then showcase the differences and changes through a simple material editor move that will turn them into something that is not completely uniformed but has a lot of imperfections and apparently or seemingly random details to it. So first of all let's create the material. We are going to create a new material and we are going to call it imperfect. And we're going to create another material that we're going to create and call perfect, which is going to be our reference point. So I'm going to open up perfect and I'm going to add a constant three vector. And I'm going to create it as a base color. And I'm going to set all of these values to 0.5. So it should be something of a beige, white, gray color and I'm going to save it and here we have it now I'm going to dock it and I'm going to create or edit the imperfect material again I'm going to add a constant three vector no that's constant two vector constant three connected to base color and set it again to 0.5 across the board to get the same tone. Now I'm going to again save, but now I'm going to add two different textures from my starter pack that I'm going to use to create those surface imperfections. That will be the step one and the step two would be to blend these and then connect them to the roughness node so let's add a texture sample here it is and let's copy it so we have two of these for the first one i'm going to use let's say some kind of cobblestone pebble and for the second, I'm going to use the texture of grass. And while these load, I'm going to add a blend screen node, which will connect these two from RGB to blend and RGB to base. And I'm going to connect this to the roughness element of the actual material. Now I'm going to save. It will take a few moments to load or to create the preview. And the difference should be visible immediately in the actual result of the same surface. And here it is. It depends on the light, but if you turn to the perfect texture, you can see that there are those imperfections on the surface. So now I'm going to add both of these. Here is the imperfect, here is the perfect. And as you can see, the imperfect has all of these elements. Let's see it in the game itself. And here we are. The amount of imperfection is not huge and again it's very constricted or dependent on the light but as you can see the first texture is completely solid while the second one has those elements now we can do additional things here and for example try to add grass here as well again save and see the results. You can use basically any texture you have. Experiment, try it out, see what it gives you in terms of those imperfections. But as a model, as a means of doing things, 
it's really really cool again here is the first perfect here is the imperfect and again we have a lot rougher surface with the second option here you can see those grooves and elements which are basically grass texture but through the blend node to the blend screen you get an ability to impact the roughness and thus create unique and randomized imperfections on the surface of your material so there you have it it's a simple way it, there is a lot of possibilities here you can tweak change modify experiment add several blend screens and get the precise result that you're looking for this is pretty cool for having things like materials that are worn out or impacted by some kind of a decay but a lot of other stuff as well all of this is possible basically through blend screen and it's connected node to roughness so there you have it that's my tutorial hopefully you found it useful hopefully you found it interesting if you did please consider subscribing to my channel there is also a bunch of other ways how you can support me i sell books on amazon you can send me crypto you can send me money through paypal you can even become a patron on my patron page which is also in the link below and send me regular donations each month if you can do that wow that would be truly awesome and i would love to hear from you if you decide to do that if not there is a simple and easy and straightforward and cheap way to support me and that is to subscribe do nothing more just be on my channel for my new videos and of course leave a like why don't you that's all for me thank you again so much for watching my channel is really close to 2000 subscribers hopefully you can become one of them on that road to 2k and if you do thank you very much and you're awesome that's all for me my name is Ivica have a great week and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine levels till then until my next video bye bye